I just got to the Poker Lake area. Um, it's part of the Frost Center. I've never been here. It's only 15 minutes, well, 20 minutes from my house. But uh, seriously, I've never been here. So it's going to be, I don't know, the debate now is whether to do the uh, Big East Lake or to run the Poker Lakes. I think I'm going to run the Poker Lakes, but I got to cross a highway, which is right. I got to cross a highway, which is right there. Awesome. Neat. I just got to the Poker Lake uh, side of this trail and I had to cross 118. Well, 118 is freaking hairy, man. I crossed this road and I'm telling you, I freaking hell, some dude was passing a truck. I thought I was gonna get killed. Anyway, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still breathing. Too much, man. Let's hit the water. I'm just leaving the portage on um, which crosses Highway 118 and comes on to Bench Shoe Lake. This is part of the Poker Lake area, right? There's campsites all through here, but man, oh man, I wouldn't camp anywhere near here. That highway's crazy. You can hear it in the background. But these campsites are nice, though. They're, they're nice campsites. But unfortunately, the highway, eh? Like, if you don't mind highway sounds, well, then this would be amazing. It really would. Your car is right across the road, so, right? There's another nice looking campground right up ahead. Wow. Nice campsite. But damn, that highway. It's too bad. Anyway. Site 42. Well, this is a nice lake. Again, this is Bent Shoe Lake. Don't know where they come up with these weird names, eh? Anyway. Let's get away from this highway. portage on uh, Bench Shoe Lake and um, you know this is a really nice lake it really is the issue I have with it is obviously highway 118 the noise which is a shame it's a hell of a nice lake I've never been here as I said ever wow it's nice though 20 minutes from my house Cool. OK. 
Okay, so this is the Portage de Poker. Poker Lake. And she's only uh, 320 meters. Cool. Okay, I just did the 320 off of Bent Shoe to Poker. Not an easy trail. Straight uphill. And here's Poker. So I came from here, ran up along here, did the 325. This is a not a good portage, man. It's straight uphill. It only lasts for a short time, but that's great. Got to here. Then I am sitting right about here now. Now the question mark is, do I drop down again? I think I will. I think I'll drop down into Upper Crane Lake. Lower Crane, back to Bench Shoe, and then out. I think I'll do that. Alrighty then. Now this one here is only a 50 meter portage. Now look at some of these portages. I mean, they're straight uphill. <laughs> wow. Yep, straight up. Wow, that's a funny name for Lake Ooze Lake. Hmm. I can imagine what that lake looks like. I'm gonna walk this uh, this portage trail to Ooze Lake. I'll leave the canoe here. I'm going another way, but I want to see this. What this looks like. are just in here cutting up trees that came down anyway another day I'll come back and up through here um, you do two more portages and you're into a, a, a lake called Cinder Lake There's so much to discover on these lakes. What kind of history did they have? Who was here? Oh my god. And I'm not even talking about Europeans. I'm talking about the natives. What did they do? They used these lakes for sure. And then, uh, you know, they got kicked out and the loggers moved in. Fascinating. I'm gonna go down this channel and yeah, you can see these logs. Wow, look, there's one right there. Right there. Wow. This is amazing. an old log jam right here. Wow. There's logs underneath me. Sheesh. Crazy. And what we're looking for is a portage trail. Should be heading somewhat south. Uh, we're heading east right now.
There you go. What a sound. Trail's not used, hardly at all. That eagle wants that blue heron. He'd take it too. He almost got it. My fault because I set him up. But let's get out of here. Here goes a blue heron. Watch. It's a dan it's a GoPro, so you're not gonna see much. worth coming out here for sure. brother it's okay it's okay
I got some people coming in behind me. It's like I'm always, every time I go to a porch, I'm going to get pushed. Well, it's not their fault. They don't know I'm here, but it's just me wanting to be invisible. Anyway. So to Liam. Liam, these trails are pretty good, man. You come up this way, dude, and uh, it's literally 10, well, it's about half an hour from the house at the most. I'm just doing a small loop. Great thing about these portages is they're they're short. It's not like, not like you're doing three kilometers or something. Wow. I don't know, it kind of scares me, you know. It kind of scares me. I'm getting I'm getting up there. I mean I'm 62 and yeah, it scares me that my days are, well, they're literally numbered, really, for portaging anyway. Not necessarily for canoeing, but but it's no fun canoeing without portaging because then you're stuck on main lakes and all the, yeah, all the people. Anyway, here we go. Next lake. Nice put in here. Apparently this is site 60. Let's see what this is all about. Wow, perfect place for hammocks. 100 percent Man. Good place for hammocks. Not so great for a tent. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the tent spot right there. A little angled. That's why hammocks are so good, eh? You can string hammocks between trees and damn, they're always level. Always. Just in the rain, they're a pain in the ass. Hmm. Nice sight. Sight 60. I'll have to remember that. And someone's coming with the dog. Great. Awesome. So it's got a good swimming hole here too. I'll have to remember this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll book this site. Yeah. Well, that's a firewood for sure. Good. Well, that's quite the trek to the toilet though. Yeah, I can see people being freaked out back here at night. There it is. Yeah. Nice sight though. Hmm. Okay.
Another nice thing, man. Check it out. What, what is this one? 58. Hmm. Good takeout for the canoe. I'm gonna scrape a bit. Well, that's a goal zero. She's charging right now, for sure. In the sun? Oh yeah. For sure. What's cool about this unit... A little more towards the sun. What's cool about this unit is it actually charges up a battery pack. The battery pack then charges, um, you know, whatever device you have. And it can also charge right off the panels. We'll just charge this up here. Here. Cool. Two batteries charging up. Cool. This is really neat out here. Portage trails right there. Oh, this is great. Quiet. Let's look at the site. Fire pit, obviously. Not the best, but it's okay. Yeah. There's a spot for a tent right there. Right there. I'm told it's up there, obviously. Not so good in here for a hammock. Oh, yeah, you can put one there. Hmm.
So this is the portage down to um, Bent Shoe Lake. There she is. Nice. Now it's a straight shot to the car. Well, a little bit of a portage at the end, nothing much. That was great. Okay. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Yeah, this is on Ben Shoe Lake. This is a nice campsite too, but you know what? Too close to the highway, man, you can hear it. It'd be beautiful otherwise. Oh, there's a loon to say farewell. <laughs> 